Hi, this is Loredana Nicolae from NNC Services. Today, I'd like to maybe try to sell ice to the Eskimos, and that is, I'm going to try to convince you to use LinkedIn at its best during this pandemic. What that means is that the same as um, our friends at the Marketing Minute, um, powered by Josh Turner from Link Selling, um, I believe that um, LinkedIn is a channel to go to, and I would also argue that actually um, there are engagement um, channels that you may use to leverage your audience even more than via LinkedIn. But to step right into it, what the Marketing Minute mentioned uh, in their uh, latest, latest uh, one of their latest newsletters is that 40% of LinkedIn members report that they read uh, LinkedIn members report they are reading the news more frequently. Um, I have, I've actually seen stats that show anywhere between even 50 to 70% of LinkedIn users uh, being more um, involved with LinkedIn these days. 30% um, are checking social media more often uh, I don't believe just during COVID. I think that uh, they're using LinkedIn, or I'm personally using LinkedIn for professional networking to stay sane, uh, just because it's one of those channels where you meet like-minded people that are trying to solve the issues and not just uh, caught up in the um, media game um, around this crisis. Uh, I believe that right now the data shows that even more than just 40%, about 50 to 60% um, of, uh, of the LinkedIn uh, professional users work remotely. Um, and uh, only 30%, around 40% feel that they are not impacted in terms of productivity. Some other interesting data that's shown in this particular study is that the cost per lead actually, as you see, went down a bit in February, but then went up. And why is that? Because LinkedIn is still one of those channels that you can use to sell. Um, now, um, it, as I mentioned in how you can uh, grow your pop, pipeline webinar, even during crisis, uh, as you can see, you need to reach out to more people. So even if, let's say, this data shows that more and more of us are using, at least during March, April is not yet finished, um, the, the LinkedIn as a paid channel to reach out and to engage with prospects, you can see that the cost per appointment is decreasing just because engagement is down across all social media channels. I believe that LinkedIn is still one of the few that produces sales and produces uh, results. Um, some of our own data shows that actually Twitter produces much more engagement than LinkedIn these days, even with B2B. Um, I personally have made a comparison and I've posted um, half uh, of the times that I post via LinkedIn, I posted via Twitter and the engagement was 10 times higher. I'm going to, uh, together with our team, I'm going to um, try and do this study over a while, but I believe that this is actually uh, data that we've seen um, in the stats and then in, in, in the engagement across a few projects now and you can definitely test it out and see it for yourself however coming back my followers um, list is much bigger via LinkedIn uh, so I believe that um, with that being said I have a much broader uh, exposure via LinkedIn as a professional network. So you can check out the data uh, with this study. And um, one of our colleagues actually pointed this out that even though we know that we have to do content, even though we know we have to, you know, content is king these days, especially if you are relevant, um, there's still quite a lot of uh, challenges, even when developing social media content, right? Even when developing uh, relevant LinkedIn uh, posts, let's say, relevant LinkedIn content. 
um, top challenges to develop the effective content. This uh, has been recently updated. Um, and as you can see, about 60% uh, are based off of the North America. Um, it seems that we are lacking the budget. If you looked at the yesterday video, I showed how about 60% of the marketers are at least stalling their decisions on budget till later in the year. Um, they don't know uh, if the content is actually influencing. Please use marketing automation for this. This is such an easy way to figure out and to have all data in one place. You know, there's really affordable tools out there. I'm sure you could get the, a, a really good deal now, but as a marketer to say that um, you don't know if the content is actually influencing or engaging with your audience, this is a big no um, nowadays. Um, taking ideas and translating thoughts, concepts, and even notes into reality, uh, so all of this is, as you can see, around producing relevant content, okay? Um, measuring true content ROI, uh, we're all about ROI. So we are a, 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 a growth partner and a digital agency that's always focused on ROI. Um, you can show the value uh, for the marketing and sales investment if you cannot show um, how this ties into the ROIs, and there's really simple and clear ways to do that. Um, I'd like to advise you to subscribe to This Is Working. It's a hashtag on LinkedIn where um, LinkedIn editors are interviewing uh, re great minds of our days uh, on how you know they're impacted, uh, what's their advice, and so on. One of my um, personal uh, favorites is the uh, recent interview with Ray Dalio. Uh, he believes a lot into uh, coming together. We also uh, subscribe to this um, opinion and we are actually producing this series of videos and we are uh, supporting the growth of a, of a commun community, of a support community during crisis. Um, please uh, do follow us on social media. If you have questions, please ask. We are here to help anyone in our business ecosystem. We will be back next week with more relevant webinars. Um, but I'd just love to hear your opinion and to share anything of value up there. So do please reach out if you have anything of value to share with our business community, uh, with the support, with the B2B growth uh, in crisis support group, and um, with any one of us that you think may be of uh, help right now. Thank you so much. I look forward to tomorrow's session. Bye.